Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian. Part two of this lovely little build. Uh, I'm really enjoying this kit and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Quite a lot done today um, and quite a lot further on uh, but again it's been undercoating, painting, uh, all that kind of thing uh, just to uh, to bring things along. Um, I've completed uh, this little um, section uh, which sits on top um, of the uh, floor of the car. Um, you can see I've got the, um, the the wood done and I've got this little panel in place and hopefully you can see um, that I've picked out. I probably just need to give them a little bit more of the two hinges and the catch um, just in bright brass. Probably just need to give those a little bit more. Uh, the pedals are interesting, I'll come back to them, but as you can see uh, here, there's there's absolutely nothing uh, for them to mount to. Um, but I have a plan for that, uh, so we'll see how we, we go. Oops. Uh, I'd not break it now, eh? Uh, but this uh, fits nicely, cat hairs everywhere. This fits nicely on here. And, uh, and fits really, really well, actually. It just drops onto there like so. So you can see, oh, sorry, out of shot. There we go. You can see that uh, that fits on there really quite nicely. Um, and it's going to make a, a really nice car, that. I've also um, just about completed the bulkhead uh, again. Um, I still need to pick some parts out in, in brass, um, but it's on the way. But uh, you can see I've done um, the wood. I'm, I'm really quite pleased with this. Very pleased with the way it's, it's turned out. Um, so uh, that's virtually ready to go on the car. Um, although these fine edges picking out in bright brass are going to be, uh, well, it's, we'll see how good my painting skills are, eh? Uh, and I've done all kinds of, of bits and pieces, uh, as you can see here, um, lots and lots of things. Um, I've done, um, the, the seats are in two parts, inner and outer. These are the outer parts, and you can see um, they've got a, a few coats of the green on now, and they're looking quite good. Um, the uh, inner sections are... I've done in a, a semi-gloss um, black and they're looking okay. Um, we'll see when they're dried fully. And this is the, uh, the uh, cushion uh, for the rear seat. And whether it's called a dolly seat or something like that anyway. Um, the only one I had difficulties with was this little thing which which sits on one of the running boards um the pins are in the wrong place so i took them off it also has a little pin on the top i'm not quite sure um what the whole thing is to be honest but uh maybe it holds oil for the lamps i don't know but um i, I cut the pins off and in, in trying to get it all square and knocked uh, the pin off the top so i just need to put a little bit of something on the top there uh, but that's that's ready for painting now um here's the frame for the windscreen that's now completely um, undercoated uh, ready to go uh, and the lamps um, which are really quite delicate uh, but uh, with, with some fine sanding and a little bit of Mr. Surfacer I've got just about all the seam lines off them um, so they're ready to go. Uh, there was one interesting uh, thing, um, I'm just, yeah, this particular lamp here uh, goes on the back and has a, a slightly different bracket and uh, it was quite amusing, I had to look for a little while. Um, you can see the, uh, the two front lamps here and then there's the rear lamp um, and it quite clearly shows, uh, although I've crossed it out now, I don't know how well you'll see that, but this part to be G18. Um, which had me going for a while because there isn't a sprue G. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea where that was, so I, I literally had to go by the shed, but I finally found it. So if you're building this, 
It's C418, not G18. So I've been going for a little while. Uh, and the lamps will be done in bright brass and I'll probably uh, just do a silver back to them um, just for something different. Um, here's the aforementioned uh, pedals. There are three of those um, to go in. So that's all done. Um, and another load of stuff here. Um, I've got another coat of, of green on the uh, on the uh, engine covers. Um, all the various uh, suspension parts are now coated, and I've done uh, the wheels. Um, I've done them in black. Um, there's various ways I could have done them wood, I suppose, but I wanted the rims to be black, and I thought doing wood on on the individual spoke would, apart from taking forever, be really quite difficult. So I've done them all gloss black. Um, and I think that will look nice with the white tyres um, and go well uh, against the whole scheme. So um, that's that's the plan for that. Um, I've done the exhaust um, black for the moment. Um, I haven't really uh, caught it all, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over again um, with some... Um, probably aluminium or something similar to that, just lightly, and then I'll add a little bit of rust uh, to it and, and hopefully that'll look okay. I don't want it to be too weathered down this. I want it to look a bit more showroomy, you know, um, rather than um, something uh, weathered down uh, an awful lot. So there we are, that's the, uh, that's the car as it stands. Um, I had a, <laughs> just uh, one final thing, I had uh, some fun here uh, remember when I said I had fun getting the engine and and, um, uh, and the radiator in properly? Well, uh, I hadn't put the pipes in. Uh, that was fun. Um, and I've done that now. But the one thing I didn't put in uh, was, the, was the fan. Um, anyway, there was just enough room to, uh, to push it down in there and, and just get the hole to, to drop in. So um, you, you're never going to see it anyway, but... Um, it was there to be done, so that's now done. Um, so that's where we are today, um, and hopefully tomorrow I can start putting some of the uh, the vehicle together. So as you can see, um, the vast majority of time has been painting, varnishing, uh, undercoating, uh, top coating, you know, whatever you want really, uh, and preparing all the parts. Uh, but you can finally see it coming together as a car. Um, I've still got the final tyres to clean. I've had a go uh, with one of them. I, I must say it's not the favourite thing I've ever done, um, but we'll get there. Uh, but we're nowhere near ready for the tyres yet anyway. Um, I'll just keep having a go at them in between everything else. Uh, but it's going together really, really nicely. Um, a little catch on that little part for the rear lamp, uh, but it was bound to be on one of them, wasn't it? Uh, it's just a matter of looking through. Thanks to all the new subscribers and a warm welcome and I hope you enjoy the channel. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and until the next time, cheerio.